Good morning. I hope everyone's having a great Saturday. You know, when you think about it, baseball is America's pastime. When I was a kid, I loved to play on a league. I want to answer an email right now from Laura from Ypsilanti. She has a son who pitches. He's nine years old, and she wants to know, is there a limit to him pitching and throwing per game? There certainly is. Check this out. Laura, make sure your child throws no more than 50 pitches per game, no more than two games per week, and no breaking pitches or curves until he can shave. Make sure there's proper instruction and conditioning. No more than 600 pitches should be done in a season, and don't count on the league or the coach to keep track. If there's pain, make sure you take a day off. He can start throwing the following day at a reduced intensity, but if the pain persists, take another day off and ice the area after throwing. If the weather gets cold, reduce the number of pitches thrown by 10 to 20%. And make sure after every game, take three days off for rest. You know, baseball is an awesome family activity. The whole family wins. But the most important thing that we need to do is make sure we take care of our children. I always say, train up a child the way he or she shall go. They will never depart from their good habits. And it has everything to do with conditioning their mind, their body, and their spirit. Until next week, I'm Peter Nielsen with Peter's Principles.